Hello guys, welcome back to Poppin' Games once again for another unboxing! Today we bring you Aegis of Earth, Proto Novus Assault for the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, and the PlayStation Vita. Alrighty, so let's get a zoom in on the front cover since it's the same for all of them. We have a whole bunch of characters here. Some looks, looks to be some military weapons in front of a city. Interesting. Okay. So it says right here, it says uh, Axis, Axis Games 10th Anniversary. All right, cool. And this is a T for Teen game. Alrighty, turning these three games to the spine, we see that it's a solid black background with the logo and the title, Aegis of Earth, Proto Novus Assault. Moving to the top, we see that all three games are y -fold copy games. And to the back. It looks like they've got they were able to fit the same background on all three covers. So I'll just grab the PlayStation 3 version so we can get a zoom in and I'll read for you the quick synopsis of the game. They say the enemy was weak in the boonies. Man, we're <laughs> This just got me. This got me messed up. All right, let me just read for you this whole thing again. They said the enemy was weak in the boonies. Man, were they wrong. <laughs> Annihilate enemies as they attack from all sides. Develop your cities and strengthen your units. Protect humanity as a leader to be reckoned with. Okay, guys. So, moving on to the specs. We got a one-player game. 1,054 megabytes minimum. DualShock 3 Blu-ray disc. Moving on to the PlayStation 4. We have a one-player game. 838 meg uh, megabytes minimum. You'll be playing on the DualShock 4 and Blu-ray disc. And for the PlayStation Vita, we have a one-player game. Memory required is 600 ki uh, kilobytes. Uh, PlayStation TV compatible. You can use the touchscreen also. And that's about it. So the reason why this game is T for Teen, fantasy violence, mild language, and mild suggestive themes. Awesome, guys. Let's start this unboxing and see what's inside. Okay, starting with the PlayStation Vita, because it's on top, we have just a game cartridge. Now that we have the zoom in, let's see if there's anything behind the front cover art. Looks like it's blank. Alrighty, so that's the PlayStation Vita. PlayStation 4, once we open it up, looks like we have the game on right, the manual, and nothing behind the front cover art. Seems to be blank. So let's take a quick look at this manual. Looks like it has a different front cover art. Nice. Okay, opening it up, we have getting started. Quick little information about the basics of the game. Uh, we have the table of contents, controls, main menu, game flow. Nice. That's a very important. I like that they included that. Icon introduction, using the items, a page for notes on the right. And then the back is just some legal information. Awesome. And then the end, some warranty and customer support. And for more information, you can visit this website. Awesome. Let's slide that back in and get a quick zoom in of the game disc. Awesome. Moving on to the PlayStation 3. We have the game on right, the manual on left, and behind the front cover art seems to be blank. So, we'll just move, just open up the manual. Let's see if there's any differences. We have some warnings, some basic information, table of contents. Yeah, it looks like it's the same stuff. Man, and I'm glad they included it. Awesome. Okay, let's get a quick zoom in of the game disc. Alrighty then. 
Alright guys, so that pretty much wraps up this unboxing for Aegis of Earth, Proto Novus Assault for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation Vita. Thank you guys as always for staying in tune with us popping games for our unboxings. If you like this video, go on to our channel, check out all the other ones. Thank you very much guys, bye bye.